In this tutorial, we are going to see how to analyze Likert scale data using MANCOVA or multiple analysis of covariance. So we have these uh, Likert scale and these items on Likert scale. We have the composite score uh, here and we want to test the difference in uh, groups with regard to these uh, independent or rather dependent uh, variables, action one, action two. And here we have some independent variables like education, like uh, groups, etc. So to analyze these uh, differences, um, we can just go to analyze, then general linear uh, model. Then we are going to go to multivariate. And here I will in the factor or the fixed factors, I will put the group. I can put, uh, for example, education. And here for the covariate, so since uh, age is a continuous variable, I would just put it in the covariate. And uh, let's say the other conditions as well could be just uh, put here in the fixed factors. And then the dependent variable, which is action one, and then action two can be put here. So this is the Leckert scale, two dimensions that are, uh, let's say, scored into two separate uh, dependent variables. So uh, here, the this model, I could just uh, go to model. I keep it for factorial, I include intercept. Then I could see the uh, contrast if I want. And here I could just choose the uh, nature of the contrast, whether deviation, simple difference, Helmer, repeated polynomial. So I don't need that for now. For plots, in case I want to visualize the data, I could just put these uh, variables or independent fixed factors according to uh, each one of these here, like separate plots, separate lines, or horizontal, horizontal axis. So here I just click continue. I don't need to put anything for the estimated marginal means. I could just want to display the uh, means, let's say for uh, one variable or for many variables. And here I could just compare mean effects if I want. Let's say I want to do that only for education and compare mean effects. And here I could choose Benferoni, which is uh, robust against type one error in terms of uh, hypothesis testing. Then click uh, continue for save in case I want to test some of the assumptions of Mankova, like linearity, like uh, homogeneity of variance, etc. I could just check uh, some statistics here like outliers normality as i said and other values um, so there are some of the parameters that are available just in this box you don't need the, to run them separately in another place so here i just don't need to put anything so here for the options i want to display descriptive statistics like mean standard deviation etc then the Levine's test of homogeneity of uh, variance or the homogeneity tests which is an assumption of uh, analysis of variance in general then i could just uh, I put the estimates of effect size uh, in addition to other statistics if I want. The confidence intervals are 95%. So this is what I should keep in mind. I click uh, continue. And for the bootstrap, I just keep it like that without uh, clicking anything. So I will just click run. Okay. So this is the between subjects factor. We have group, we have education, we have condition. So we have the group labels here and we have the sample size. And then for the descriptive stats, we have again, the action, the group, then the education, the conditions, the conditions, et cetera, and their mean score and standard deviation along with the sample size. You see how this uh, matrix is, uh, let's say, formatted. It just allows for multiple comparison and you could just check that at your convenience to see the difference. So this is like a long table because there are many uh, variables involved in it. So the more variables, etc., the more complex it is. The multivariate test, you could see here, the Pele's trace, the Welks lambda, the hot links trace, Droid's largest root. I just will provide uh, in the description box a, a paper that explains all of these so that you know which one to include. So we usually we look at their significance level and depending on their, um, let's say, statistical significance, we could see which test we will adapt. Uh, here, they seem all of them um, not statistically significant, and there are some missing parts here. So, and you could just see what the, the B uh, stands for. So, this is the Levine's test of equality of error variances. You see that uh, for action one, it is statistically significant. This means that there is statistically significant violation of this assumption. But for the other one, uh, there is almost statistical significance 
uh, let's say in terms of uh, violation of this assumption. So here I just have different, let's say, assumptions. Uh, then we have the, the test of between subject effects. So this one is the important table because it contains the uh, p-values here and it, in, it includes the, uh, let's say, the, the dependent, or rather the independent variables here. And then the interaction effects, as you can see. So these are all interaction effects. And then for the estimated marginal means, you can see here the lower bound and upper bound confidence intervals along with their mean score, standard error, and then uh, others. Then we have the pairwise comparisons. So the dependent variable, the, the um, mean difference for the uh, groups here, the standard error and the significance of the mean difference along with the lower and upper bound of the confidence intervals. The multivariate test here, you could see the um, a sig value along with the partial eta squared and the Pelais trace, Wex lambda, Holt Lane's trace, Roy's uh, largest root along with their value, with F value, with hypothesis, degree of freedom and error, degree of freedom and significance level. And this is the univariate test with regard to dependent, uh, to dependent uh, variables namely action one, action two, which are in fact composite scores of the Likert scales after the Cronbach's alpha reliability above 0.7 has been checked and confirmed before um, transforming these variables. So here you could see that there are no statistically significant differences and uh, you will not put all of these tables, you will be just selective, you just report the exceptions and you move to the hypothesis testing. Uh, that's it. So this is in brief how you can run uh, what we call uh, MANCOVA or multiple analysis of covariance on spaces in addition to how you can interpret the results. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. See you soon. Bye for now.